Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage senior designer of UX Design, Ji Won Lee. Hi everyone. It's so nice to be here in San Francisco. I'm totally excited to be here with developers who create wonderful, unique experiences. When I meet people and tell them what I do for a living, they often ask, what does a UX designer at Samsung actually do? And I tell them I spend a lot of time thinking about how to make smartphone UX better, listening to customers and developers about how to create hardware and software together and improve the way we interact with our devices. We are very excited to share with you what our entire team has been working on for the past year. And we need you, the developer community, to bring this to life and make it even better. Over the last decade, the smartphone has become incredibly powerful and a vital part of our daily lives. Our phones are now our cameras, music players, computers, and even gaming consoles. Mobile devices have grown bigger, and user behavior and patterns have evolved. At the same time, the user interface has become cluttered and more complex, with people saying smartphones are getting harder to use, which is just opposite of what we want. We believe it is time for a refresh. We took a step back, listened to what our customers were asking for, and carried out a fundamental review of how people interact with their devices today. Whereas previous UX design often placed emphasis on adding in new features over simplifying the user experience. We reset our focus and mission. We aimed to develop a comfortable, intuitive UX based on how people actually use devices today. The result of our work combines every important feature that helps user behavior at the deepest level. And it's truly an honor to show you what we've come up with here at SDC. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one new eye. I'm glad you like it, because my team designed it. <laughs> One UI is simple and easy to use with a compelling design language. The foundation of our design approach is that hardware and software must work together in perfect harmony. And One UI blends these two seamlessly. The rounded corners of our hardware are echoed in our software. This is reflected in our, our icons, which have been simplified to help you easily recognize and understand what each one is. We've taken a new approach to presenting both content and controls, because we want the eyes to be drawn to what matters, rather than be just distracted by things that don't. We have enough distractions, don't we? 
Now, everything you need to concentrate on, text, images, or anything else, is the main element of the screen because these blocks help you to focus. All the important information you need is within this floating on-screen blocks, which is contrasted against the blank space behind them. Now, let me show you the three key ways we paid close attention to our consumers and made One UI our most user-focused smartphone UX. First, we improved the user experience by making it easier to focus on the task at hand. Most smartphone UX were designed to provide all the options and information at a glance. But with the constant evolution of smartphone technology, more and more features were added. So consumers were given far more options on screen, and displays became even more cluttered, which, which can be hard. One UI removes this clutter, making it easy to focus on one thing at a time. Take the setting app, for example. In the past, our setting app offered all the different customizable options on the main setting view. Then two years ago, we completely refreshed the UI, reducing the number of the options from 36 to just 17. That's more than half. So you could easily view and navigate them with less scrolling. We also grouped relevant functions together to let you see the options you want easier. This design change improved the usability, and carriers adopted the, this new design for their customers. And now we are making a major leap forward. With One UI, the options on the setting menu has been rearranged to group relative functions together. This helps users to find what they're looking for straight away. We've also regrouped the functions so the most often ones come first. Another example, the phone app has a cleaner look with One UI. Now you see only the essential features related to the task you are carrying out. It's a continuous and fluid experience where the necessary buttons appear when you need them and gently disappear when you don't. For instance, when you are dialing a number, the UI changes accordingly. The search bar and menu tabs disappear. That's because we know the user plans to make a call. The smartphone controls blend into the blank area of the screen but they're still there when you need them. Now they don't pull your attention away. With One UI, users see only what they need when they need it, so they can stay focused on what matters. Um, <clears throat> the second way we've made One UI completely user-centric is by making interaction more natural. The original smartphone UX was based on devices that fit in one hand. But as phones have gotten bigger, you are expected to have the dexterity of a classical pianist to move your fingers from the home key at the bottom to the pop-ups in the middle and menu buttons at the top. It doesn't have to be this way. We made a fundamental change in the user interface. With One UI, we have restructured the way we interact with our devices. Now, the upper part of the screen is for viewing, while the lower part of the screen is for touch interaction. This means the things you do most on your phones are within the range of your thumb and follow a coherent path instead of jumping from one side of the screen to the other. Let's use messages as an example. Normally, we expect the message app to show the most recent messages at the very top. This means you need to extend your thumb all the way to the top if you are using one hand, which means you need a really long thumb. With One UI, your messages begins at the center of the screen where your thumb can easily reach. 
By examining user behavior, we found people's eyes naturally follow their finger movement when they are interacting with their devices. Because when new eye places everything you need to see where it's easy to reach, it just feels much more natural to use. Let's take another example, the clock app. I set my alarm daily, actually many alarms to wake up. And I also use the time zone a lot since I have the pleasure of working with developers and designers from all over the world. Previously, we provide multiple tabs to help you move between different functions at the very top of the screen. This meant to reach the buttons at the bottom, you had to cover the distance from one corner to the other. Now, we've moved the tabs to the bottom of the screen so they are easily accessible for your thumb. Dialog pop-ups, which we all interact throughout the day, are also displayed at the bottom of the screen for easy access. Let me show you what I mean. When I, might, uh, when I meet my friends, I take a lot of photos and share them. Since I use the motion photo features on the camera, the pop-up asks me whether I want to send it as an image or a video. In the past, this pop-up appeared in the center of the screen. But now, with One UI, the pop-up appears at the bottom of the screen, so you can tap it faster. By changing the layout, adding more blank space, you can interact with your, your device more naturally. The third thing we've done to our One UI is increase visual comfort. Let's be honest, we spend a lot of time looking at our phones, checking emails, texting, scrolling through photos, which is why it's so important that interface should be comfortable for the eyes. So we paid close attention to these small details that make a world of difference. Last year, we introduced night mode in Samsung Internet app as a way to offer a more comfortable reading experience when it's dark. Consumers told us how much they loved it, and that's why we have now applied it across One UI. You know, One UI really sets a new standard for how the device and its user experience blend together, seamlessly reflecting the needs and tastes of today's consumers. For instance, we have tuned the color of our design to provide more visual clarity. More distinctive color and contrast offer a more focused and recognizable viewing experience. Speaking of colors, we are offering something totally unique within One UI, a range of colored UX theme that match the color of hardware itself. Now your device seamlessly reflects your preferences and style. By listening to our consumers, we are providing a user experience of a whole, helping users focus on the task at hand interact more naturally with the device, and providing a more comfortable visual experience. Now, while we are very proud of our One UI's remarkable improvement, we need your feedback to continue improving. So, I'm happy to announce One UI's beta test program, which will begin with US Germany and Korea in November, followed by more countries in Europe and Asia. <laughs> Your valuable feedback will be used to further fine-tune One UI before its official release. We will be releasing One UI for the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and the Note 9 starting early next year. One UI represents big, bold thinking. With the understanding of how consumers use their devices and how their patterns of interaction have evolved. We are very looking forward to you trying it and telling us what you think.